What's going on everybody? It's Antonio. Like, subscribe, follow me below on Instagram. Um, this is March the 13th, the week of March the 13th review of Raw and SmackDown. Firstly, I'd say RIP to Razor Ramon, the bad guy. I mean, RIP to Razor Ramon, the bad guy for sure. So, it starts with KO comes out saying he's going to WrestleMania. Um, obviously, he's going to be doing a KO show with Stone Cold Steve Austin. And then basically, um, he's going to stunner Stone Cold Steve Austin and beat him down. And basically, says he's going to stun the world and beat him down. <laughs> That's it. So, yeah, great. I'm looking forward to that. Then you had the first match was Finn Balor versus Damian Priest. Um, good match, but then Austin Fury came down in the match, interferes um, with Finn Balor, sort of distracting him, interfere, and then cost Finn Balor the match in which Damian Priest wins. The next match was um, then you had a backstage segment. It was Seth Rollins trying to get an interview, but obviously Seth Rollins is still silent due to him not having a WrestleMania opponent to have a WrestleMania moment, which is not a good look. If you're a WWE wrestler, sports entertainer, you want to be on a WrestleMania card, you want to have that WrestleMania moment for sure. Then next match was Omos, Omos versus Commander Aziz. I thought they were going to do this match at WrestleMania. They could have just done this at WrestleMania, even on the, the, hype, the hype card, the pre-show. They should have done that there. But even on the main card, um, but they didn't. They did it on Raw. Um, <laughs> Omos dominated Commander Aziz. He was near enough the same size as Omos. And yeah, just won and basically got him in a suplex. Uh, the choke suplex. Uh, looked a little bit dodgy, but he won anyway. Um, but yeah, great match. Uh, decent match. Then backstage segment, KO's pep talking Seth, saying to him, he's the visionary, he's the architect. Think of ideas for him to go to WrestleMania. Trying to pep talk him to get him to think of something. And then bing. Pep ha um, Seth has an idea and he goes he's going to go out to the ring and uh, tell everybody what it is so then the next match was Liv Morgan and Rhea Ripley versus Zelina and Carmella which was a, was a decent match uh, the, um, Liv Morgan got the win seemed like Carmella is very distracted with um, her boyfriend being ringside um, so I believe there's going to be some kind of break up there soon um, <clears throat> so there's a preview after that of the main event of WrestleMania title versus title Roman Reigns versus Brock Lesnar um, winner take all match which is very intense very interesting and we'll see what happens on that I'll give my prediction and probably on that as well and then Seth Rollins comes out and he comes out um, and he calls out uh, KO and Seth basically says he has an idea for what he's going to do for WrestleMania he wants to do his own KO show I think it was I can't remember, the something report, the Rollins report, that was it, um, and the interview Stone Cold. But obviously KO goes, no, you can't do that because I'm already doing that. Get your own flipping idea, your thief. So then <clears throat> Sonya comes out and goes, what are they going to do? Seth versus KO in a match to decide who will <laughs> interview Stone Cold, and that was the main event. After that was a Hurt Business and a tag team versus the Mysterios, um, in which uh, the ringside was Logan Paul and Miz. Uh, Mysterio's got the win, and then they got beat down by the Miz and Logan Paul. Um, also, another Hall of Fame induction, besides The Undertaker being inducted by Vince McMahon. Also, we've got Queen Charmel being inducted also. She's a very classy, elegant woman, and she definitely deserved to be inducted. She was awesome. Um, then Edge comes out with his new music. He's got his new heel music. It's like a purple light in the area, in the arena. And he's basically saying he's he's the be he's the measuring stick. He's the best. And um, he took his eyes, eyes off the prize. But now he's back. He's like basically F the fans. He doesn't care about fans anymore. He's just like, he's doing him. And he's going to smash everybody basically is what he's saying. Then we had Bianca Bear versus Doodop for the umpteenth time. Bianca Bear won and then Becky Lynch came down and basically lynched <laughs> lynched Bianca Bear and beat her down um, so then RK Bro had a celebration in regards to winning the tag team championships in which the Street Profits came down and was like yo G we won a tag team shot at Wrestlemania talk to me so then there was a match in where 
there was like okay let's have a let's, let's get the match then that's fine um i think it was like um if if the if street profits beat riddle they would possibly get a match at wrestlemania um and then basically as there was a one-on-one -on -one match with montez ford versus riddle as that was happening obviously the alpha academy, alpha academy came down and beat down everybody then we had a Razor Ramon tribute, tribute RIP, Razor Ramon, NWO, the bad guy for sure. Then the main event, we had KO versus Seth, and the winner gets to host the talk show with Stone Cold Steve Austin. Good match, obviously Seth and KO can go all day long, um, but KO won in the end, meaning it's going to be the KO show on WrestleMania. So that was Raw. Smackdown, Roman Reigns comes out with a new t-shirt. God mode t-shirt <laughs> but at the moment within the wrestling spectrum within the wrestling universe where no matter what show Roman Reigns is the head of the table he is a tribal chief he's had a title for about 560 something days he is the guy he's been undefeated since he's been a heel he's the guy so that is is what it is nothing nothing you can say to that so basically they went to the ring um Roman's just obviously flexing his flexing his power, flexing his muscles, and then uh, Paul H said uh, Brock Lesnar's plane apparently had to be um, had to be grounded due to some weather conditions, and then he got another message saying Brock Lesnar's actually on the way to the arena and he's turning up, in, in which um, Roman Roman Reigns was like, "Hey, you can finish this segment. I'm out." And him even the Usos bolted. Um, to get into the car to drive off but then uh, Brock Lesnar comes through with a forklift and basically smashes the car and flips it um, what is funny there is how did Paul H know all this about Brock Lesnar's affairs which is weird but anyway um, so after that we had first match was uh, Shin and Bruce versus Shinsuke and Bruce Boos, sorry versus Los Gios I can't, I can't pronounce it now I forgot, forgot. I just lost Lost the eh? Eh? Someone let me know the proper pronunciation. Uh, good match. Sits Shane and Bruce. Uh, Bruce won. Um, next match was Viking Raiders and Drew versus Corbin and Jinder Mahal and Shansky. Shanky, sorry. Good match. Obviously, all all them guys can go. In which Drew McIntyre won. Claymore. Then we had Naomi Sasha versus Rhea Ripley. Um, Natalia and Shayna Baszler. Uh, it was a good match but obviously Natalia and Shelly Baszler came down and beat down everybody plus Zena and Carmella came to the ring as well so it was Naomi and Sasha versus Rhea Re Ripley and Liv Morgan and then Shayna Baszler and Natalia just came down and beat down everybody That's, so there was no match really then Pat McAfee had to apologise to Austin Fury um, he came up to apologise but obviously it was like a fake apology he was calling him different names cussing him out and then apologising basically and that was it then we had Kofi Kingston versus Ridge Holland. Obviously, Ridge Holland. Um, hope a hey, Biggie's getting better, but he gave Biggie the belly to belly the other week, which Biggie landed on his head and broke his neck. Um, hopefully, he'll be back sometime soon. But clean win. Uh, Ridge won um, the match. I think there's. I might think. I think there was some interference. In fact, um, I think. Then you had Charlotte come out um, to obviously talk about WrestleMania. Ronda came out. They had a back and forth, and then Charlotte. Uh, beats down um, Ronda Rousey and chokes out with a pole so all leading into Wrestlemania so yeah that was the review for this week um, like and subscribe and follow this channel if you could be so kind and follow me in Instagram below as well and I'll keep it coming every week if you don't get time to watch Raw Smackdown you can just review it here so um, yeah so it was definitely worth watching so have a good day peeps